Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we will see how to add two 8-bit numbers um, using uh, from, uh, mainly from getting the data from user screen. Uh, we are uh, uh, giving the input in the program itself. So we are going to get the data from the screen because we will request the users to enter the two 8-bit numbers. So we will get the data from the screen. We will see how to get data from screen, how to add numbers. I already posted one video uh, how to uh, convert the ASCII number to a uh, required number. For example, if you enter any 8-bit number, I think it's 16-bit number, this will convert into uh, keyboard will give only the ASCII equivalent for this number. This will not give the required number what we enter in the keyboard. So in order to uh, convert the ASCII number to a uh, original number, we will need to uh, use some set of codes. I already discussed this codes in the previous video. Kindly refer my uh, previous uh, uh, video. So how to add, how to get 8-bit number from user screen. Uh, I discussed some set of uh, instructions. We will need to use this code along with this program to add to 8-bit numbers. First, we will see how to uh, display things, how to get, uh, how to get data, uh, two different data. For example, if you want to add two 8-bit numbers, means first we will need to request uh, first 8-bit number from user. Then we will need to ask request the users to enter second 8-bit numbers. We will see how to request uh, the numbers, how to define all these things, how to display the outputs in the uh, simulator to check the add uh, addition of two 8-bit numbers. So now I will share my screen. Uh, now I will tell how to get the data from users uh, in the screen. Uh, first, we will see the basic program, uh, how to add to EPIT numbers. Uh, this is the program we used, uh, we discussed in the previous video. Uh, we are defining the uh, numbers, the data in the program itself. See here, for value for A, value of B. We are defining the data in the program itself. Um, but the, you know, in this video, we will going to discuss how to get this data. It means uh, data for A and data for B from the users. Uh, you will see how to get data from users, how to do the uh, add operation, how to produce some and carry for two 8-bit numbers. Um, first, refer the video. I, I make one video uh, how to get 8-bit number from user screen. So once you know the uh, instructions code uh, along with the concepts, uh, it, it is very easy to understand this program. Okay. Um, here we use data in the instruction itself. So you will get the output results. Uh, now we will see how to uh, get uh, how to get data from user screen. I also created one program uh, how to get data from user screen. How to do addition? Uh, this is the one. Now I run the program. Let's see, uh, first it will display the strings. SRM University Ramapuram. Uh, colon 8086 practicals please enter the first number if you enter the first number 23 it will ask another number which is the way how to ask the input from user sets now i am entering the data in the keyboard keyboard okay uh, uh, after entering the number uh, the keyboard will give only the ascii uh, equivalent for 23 ascii equivalent for 56 to the processor but processor will not uh, uh, use ASCII numbers to do uh, add operation, arithmetic operation to produce sum and carry. What we will need to do is we will need to convert the corresponding ASCII number into uh, again back to the original number. Original number is for A, it is 23, B, it is 56. You will need to convert the procedure how to convert the ASCII number into original number. I posted one video already. Kindly refer the video and then. Uh, uh, refer this code, you will get some idea how to uh, get 8 bit numbers, how to convert ASCII number, um, ASCII equivalent for number 23 and 56 to the original number, again back to the original number. That number 
நான் வீட்டுக்கு ஈவன் டு ப்ராசஸர் டு டூ த அடிஷன் ஆப்ரேஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஏபிசி ஹவு டு டிஸ்பிளே திஸ் திங்ஸ் எஸ்ஆர்எம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ராமபுரம் எயிட்டி எயிட்டி சிக்ஸ் ப்ராக்டிகல்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் அண்ட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நம்பர் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஏபிசி ஹவு டு கிரியேட் திஸ் திங்ஸ் ஹவு டு கெட் டேட்டா ஃப்ரம் த கீபேட் கீபோர்ட் ஓகே ஐ ஹோப் த கான்செப்ட் இஸ் கிளியர் uh now i take on basic programs uh for 8 bit addition what we discussed in previous class uh this is the code we this is uh, we are retrieving the data in the instruction itself now i uh, i will going to um display things and ask the data from the users okay i will see how to do that so now to display the things on the output window first we will need to give the message message one data byte a db stands for the type of the string and then uh what 0 b h comma 0 a h comma uh, double quotes different the string sro university um and then i i will need to use one d limiter uh, the need for d limiter here is the symbol here is dollar uh, the need for d limiter is uh, you inform the processor the string is uh, uh, finished if you want to if you don't define d limiter means this will uh, this will not consider uh, the string is not ended so you have to uh, inform the processor the string is ended you will need to finish with the d limiter symbol dollar otherwise uh, it consider string is not completed so then you will need to uh, display one more string the same let's copy the code and just paste it here one more things i want to display here that one is instead of srm university ramavaram i just i just define it as uh 8086 practicals these are all the things to display in the output screen else i end with the d limiter symbol and close process then one more uh, you will need to change the name message 1 message 2 message 3 so i need uh, dots uh iphone symbol okay iphone symbol here to differentiate the uh, title with the numbers the title with the different strings and one more string i define here is msg different names m s this is user defined you can do any name here that is that is known for the restriction you can do any name msg one one more uh, string the type is data byte 16 bit 0 dh comma 0 ah comma um uh, double quotes enter the first number enter the first number i finish with the first number colon finish with the d limiter symbol dollar close double quotes so here 0d 0a are the ascii quotes so if you want to display these things first thing srm university ramapuram then in new line you want this thing means h0h is practical means you will need to define 0dh 0ah 0dh 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 stands for new line 0ah stands for carry feed carry means if you want to move the cursors uh, on as uh, on left side of the screen because after after going to the next slide the cursor must need to go to the uh, left hand side of the screen to display another strings so now to do that we use 0d 0a now i display one ascii code equivalent here this is ascii code equivalent see here what is 0d stands uh, okay 0a stands for new line new line new l means new line 0d stands for carriage return carriage return means uh, after displaying the first thing the pointer that is cursor will move to the new line uh, a new line with the, if you want to start uh, display the second uh, strings from left hand side of the window means the cursor will move to the uh, 
uh, starting point of the left left screen. That is that is carriage return. That is the meaning for zero uh, D and zero E. If you define these two ASCII codes in the uh, data segment section, this will display the strings one by one with different lines. SLM University Ramapuram. In the second line, it will display A3, A6 practicals. In the next line, it will display hyphen. The next line, it will ask enter the first number. Similarly, if you want to, uh, if you want second number means just copy the instruction, paste it here. Let's uh, change the message number as two and enter the second number. Okay. Now the job is so next. We will need to uh, define the input variables and output variables. Uh, here I, I uh, define the input variable as A with the type as data byte. I, uh, I just simply assign it as 00H because uh, we are going to get the input from the user side, uh, from the screen. If user enters uh, num some numbers in the screen means this will be converted to ASCII. Then we do some set of program codes to convert that ASCII code number into uh, again back to the original number. That number will be given to the variable A and variable B. So after applying these inputs, obtained outputs, uh, this will be given as input to the variable A, variable D. After that, we will perform the sum operation. That means adding the two 8-bit numbers and store the result in output variable sum. If any carry is produced, this will be stored in the carry output variable. That's why I define it as a garbage value, simply 0 for A, 0 for B. The previous program, we defined the uh, two, two different 8-bit numbers in the program itself. Here, we will going to get the data from the keyboard. Uh, from the screen, uh, but keyboard will give only the ASCII values. To convert the ASCII values again back to the original number, we need some set of codes. I already told how to convert the number ASCII code number into the original number again back to original number. The script or a set of instructions, I already make one video. Just refer that video and then go uh, and then I refer this video for better understanding how to get the numbers 8 bit number from the keyboard. So data segments start with data segment and end with data ends. Similarly, code segments start with code segment and end with code ends. Similarly, assume CS colon code, DS colon data. Start colon. Uh, we, if, you, if you want to start the instructions one by one in code segment, you will need to begin with the start keyword with colon. Then move AX comma data, move DS comma AX. Uh, I hope you already taught these two instructions already in the previous uh, video. This uh, two different line of instruction will help you to get the offset address of data segment. That means data means this will call the data segment and, uh, and this will load all the offset address of data segment to the AX register. AX register simply pointing out all the memory address locations in the data segment. For example, a data segment contains uh, and details of string one, string two, string three, message one, message two, and uh, value for A, value for B, sum and carry. So if you want to access any of these details in the data segment, if you simply give the offset address of offset address to AX register, this will uh, get the data. So what is available inside the memory location to the program. That is the need for AX. AX simply hold the offset address of data segment. By calling, uh, by simply giving the offset address of any address locations to the AX, we can able to access any of the data. Okay. Then I want to display the string one. That means message MSGH1 uh, message SRM University Ramamura uh, in the screen. So the the code to display the message on the screen I already uh, discussed in the INT21H uh, video kindly refer the video uh, how to display the strings on the screen. The instruction to display the strings on the screen here is move AX comma 09H then LEA um, DX comma the name of this thing uh, that you will going to display. Name of the string for uh, SRM University Ramaburam here is message msgh1 that you will need to give here msgh1 then int21 
Mahesh. Uh, this is the instruction uh, used mainly by system programmers to display any strings on the output screen. So after, uh, uh, that means uh, compi after uh, compiling this code, if uh, this uh, this code it will help you to display the string SRM industry Ramaburam on the output screen. Um, similarly, LA stands for load effective address and MSG1. So this MSG1 uh, is stored in the data segment. It holds some offset address. Uh, okay, uh, load effective address is the instruction which will help you to load the offset address of message one to the DX register. If you load the offset address of message one to DX register, this will help you to, uh, dis by making use of this INT21 interrupts, this will help you to display the details available uh, inside the message one on the output screen. The, the string I stored inside the offset address of message one here is SRM University. This will simply display on the output screen. Now, just uh, don't think too much. This instruction will help you to display the uh, strings what we assigned for message one to the uh, message one on the output screen. Similarly, if you want to display the message two on output screen, means just copy the code move ax comma zero nine lea dx comma message one int twenty one. Just copy the code and uh, the new line. Let's the paste it one more time. I simply change the uh, string name as two. This will display the uh, string two message on the output screen. Similarly, we have one more message uh, here, message three. Uh, if you want to display means, just open the new line and paste it here. And change the name of the string as message three. This will help you to display the uh, message three strings on the output screen. Now, uh, what is available on the next slide? So if you want to, um, Request some 8 bit number, 8 bit numbers from user side means you will need to enter this thing. You will need to display these things. Enter the first number. Then only user can able. The, then only user will see the message, and he, and he will start entering the numbers. So if you want to display this thing, just uh, simply copy the same code what we used for previous things. Just simply change the name for message string name MST one. Uh, uh, this will help you to uh, display the message, enter the first number. Similarly, if you want to display the this second message, enter the second number, simply paste the same code and just uh, change the string name, that's msg2. This will call this uh, uh, string uh, variable uh, to display this uh, strings on the output screen. Now the concept is clear how to uh, Define the string uh, string messages in the data segment. Now, how to uh, assign the uh, alignment uh, ASCII codes? Now, how to define input variables? How to define output variables? And then about how to uh, assign the after data of data segment to AX register? And then how to display the strings by using this INT one uh, interrupts uh, in, uh, instructions. So uh, this is the code how to display the strings on the screen for different uh, messages, message one, message two, message three, message all these things. So after uh, after that, uh, what we need to do is now we will check uh, what, what is displaying uh, what is displaying in the software. I just run the code and uh, check for output. Just simply uh, removing this, uh, removing this set of statement. I will explain after that. First, uh, uh, this thing move very well. Move ah comma four ch, move al comma zero zero h, int twenty one. This statement is used to terminate the program. And then after uh, writing all this thing, we need to end with code ends end start. Just running the program here and check uh, run the program.
Um, let's discuss uh, remaining things, and then we will move to the next uh, okay, uh, next one. Uh, this is all about we discussed uh, till now. Entire segment contain message one, message two, message three. Similarly for uh, sum and carry. Okay. Uh, similarly, we have uh, offset address of a uh, the, the code to display the message one here is this one. The code to display the message string two here is this one. The code to display the string three is this one. Similarly for message one, message two. Or uh, to terminate the program, we use this set of these three set of codes. And then code ends in start. Now we will check for uh, output. It is displaying SRM University Ramapuram 8086 practicals. Please enter the first number. Please enter the second number. The code what we written here is uh, correct. Now we will uh, we will uh, write some concept here. Okay. First, we will see the concept here. Um, move h comma zero nine. Move h comma zero nine, and then lea dx message one again to twenty one. Then we use call ek get hate. This is the keyword uh, which uh, which will which will call the uh, instruction codes to get eight bit number from user screen. If you, if user enters any eight bit number on the screen. This will simply uh, go to the ek get uh, subroutine that is function and it will uh, use this set of codes. So ek get stands for ek means eke that is your section. Get eight means this will help you to get eight bit number from users. Uh, if you want to get uh, eight bit number from user means uh, from the keyboard. I already told what are the instruction code you will need to use in the previous uh, video section. Just refer the video and then go to and then refer these instructions. I already explained this instruction in the, with the one video. Just refer this code. If you want to get AP data from the users through keyboard, you will need to use this set of uh, statements inside your original program to get uh, to get AP data to get AP data value from users. After converting the ASCII number in the original number, we store the result in. Uh, we saw the result in AL register. This AL register, see here, uh, if you want to start the instruction code, you need to start with the procedure, PROC, then function name, EK get. That means EK means EKE section. Get 8 means it will help you to, this function name will help you to get 8-bit number from users. Now, uh, what you enter in keyboard. Then move AH comma 01 and INT 21. This will help, uh, this will, uh, help you to get data from users on the output screen. Then uh, after getting the uh, uh, this way, uh, this instruction move h comma zero one h int twenty one. This will uh, uh, this will um, assign the ASCII equivalent for your eight bit data to the AL register. 
one by one. First, it will take the higher byte and it will subtract the number with 30H. And then it will, uh, after subtracting the higher byte with the 30, minus 30H, 30 this will give some result. That result is stored in the AL register. Let's compare the result AL with the 09. If the output value, the obtained uh, result after subtracting AL with minus 30, you will get some result. That result will be compared with my, uh, 09. If the value for AL, at least some value, if it is lesser than 9, it will check for this condition. JLE, it stands for jump with uh, jump. If, uh, if, if there is, uh, if value for AL is less than the 09, it will uh, check this condition, jump less than or equal. L stands for less, E, e stands for equal. If the value for AL is lesser than 09, it will simply move to the subroutine G1. Simply move to the this subroutine. Then this will not execute this instruction. It will go directly to the subroutine G1. And, uh, and uh, we assign the value for CL register with 04. This, uh, this register CL will access a yeah, counter. Counter means uh, if you want to rotate the number with the four different times, means simply you define with the 0, 04. Then ROL, AL, comma CL. That means this will rotate the output results of AL, what we obtained here after uh, subtraction. This value will be rotated by four different times towards left. Towards left, L stands for left. Uh, uh, the value for CL here is four here. So the, uh, the result. After after subtraction will be uh, rotated by four different times towards left. So after rotation, you will get one result. That result will be stored in the uh, CH register by simply uh, calling move CH comma AL means the value stored in the register AL will be cop simply copied to CH register. Uh, this is a way how to process the higher byte of uh, data what you enter in the key back. Similarly, you will need to do for lower byte. Just uh, this move ah comma zero one h int twenty one. This instruction will help you to load the ASCII equivalent of lower byte to the AL register. That uh, means lower byte will be stored in the AL register. So sub AL comma thirty h means this will subtract the lower byte value with thirty. After subtraction, if the value for i and uh, the result will be stored in the AL register. So um, after subtraction, this will compare the value stored in inside AL register with 09. If the value of AL is uh, lesser than uh, or equal to 9, uh, this condition satisfies. Jump with less than or equal uh, less than or equal to. If the value for AL is lesser than or equal to 09, it will simply jump to the subroutine G2. G2, and this will store the result of uh, and then it will. Uh, if it will jump down to subroutine G2, then it will add the output results of uh, output results what we stored uh, after subtraction in a lower byte in AL register. That results will be added to that results will be added to CH. Where, what is CH? The result of higher byte is stored in the CH. Uh, the meaning for add AL comma CL means this will uh, simply add the uh, results obtained for lower ASCII byte after uh, computation that is stored in the AL register and that data will be added along with the uh, output results of um, higher byte after conversion. Finally, we will get the output results. Uh, uh, this is the instruction. I already explained uh, and made a single video for how to get data, how to convert ASCII number uh, to the original number. This set of codes you will need to use along with the original codes, uh, original codes to get AP data from users. So after uh, doing that, you will need to end, end the procedure. Pro PROC means to, to start the procedure. If you want to end the program, it's end P. P stands for procedure. And then you will need to get the function name, EK get 8. This will help you to end the functions. OK, um, after that, we will need to go to the this instruction call ek get 8 mean this will go to the procedure and get first 8b data and store the where the result is stored after uh, converting ascii number to the original number the result is stored in the al register see add al comma cl means al is the register which stores the lower byte data ch is the register which will store the higher byte data so after adding al with the cl this is the result it will store the al register so if you call 
if you call ek get a it means this will go to the function and get the and get the value for al so move a comma al means this will store simply stores the value assigned it to stored inside the register al to the uh, input variable a input variable a similarly uh, move as comma zero nine lea dx comma message to int twenty one. So this will uh, this will display the second string. What is second string here? MSG two. Uh, please enter the second number. So after entering the second number in the keyboard, uh, the keyboard will give the ASCII equivalent for the eight bit number. So this will execute this procedure and convert the ASCII equivalent of second number to the again back to the original number. Nothing will be done by this set of codes. After conversion, uh, this will uh, call the second uh, message string. Enter the second number means this will give the value. Uh, this will call the procedure. After the conversion, this will assign the output results. That is AL value to the B, B input, second input. Now the value for A is some 8-bit number. Now the value for B is some 8-bit number. How to get the, these two different numbers after converting the ASCII equivalent of first number? Uh, after conversion, we will assign the first number to the A variable. Then you enter the message string to enter the second number. After the user enter second number, that number uh, but keyboard will give the ASCII equivalent to the uh, processor. Then we do by making use of some set of instruction procedure uh, instruction, which is converting the ASCII number to the original number. Original number. Uh, after conversion, the value stored in the register A will be moved to the B register. Now, so now we get uh, these two different numbers a and b then uh, we use uh, the 8 bit addition operation i hope you know how to do 8 bit addition in the previous video also we discussed first we will move the value for a to the a and register and then uh, move the value for b to the a and register uh, so the meaning i will explain here Okay. Uh, I hope the concept is clear. This instruction you know very well. This instruction is used to display the message one, message so display the message two, display the message three. Uh, this uh, this message will help you to enter the first number. After you enter the first number, uh, this will call the ek get to you get a uh, function this function will help you to convert the ascii ascii equivalent of the enter number in the key back to the again back to the original number after getting the date after converting the ascii number again back to the original number the result is stored in the al register that al register if you, uh, if you want this result uh, to, to move to the a input we use move a comma al this will simply uh, stores the value of AL obtained in the processor function to the A input. This will store the value of AL to the A register. Then move AH comma 09H LEA DX comma message to INT21. This uh, command, this instruction will help you to display the message to. What is message to? Enter the second number. After getting the 8 bit value from the user, this will call the function ek get 8. This is the function name we use to get 8b data from the users on, uh, on the screen, in the screen. So after getting the 8b data for a, a second input variable, so this function ek get 8, they will do conversion, ask it conversion into the original number conversion. After converting to original number, that number is stored in the AL register. AL register. So when you use move b comma al means, uh, this will simply assign the value for AL to the B input variable. Now the value for A is some value, 8 bit value. Now the B value for B, we have another 8 bit value. So we successfully get after converting the ASCII equivalent to append back to the virtual number through some set of code by using the function ek get h. Now, uh, now this is the instruction we used we used here uh, to do 8 bit addition. 8 bit addition 8 bit addition if this is the instruction code we used in 8386 to perform 8 bit addition first what we uh, given here is move al comma a for example uh, value for a here is 
10H. Now the value for B here is 20H. Uh, what is the first instruction we are we defined here? Move AL comma A. Move AL comma A. This will simply assign the value for A to the AL register. Now the value for AL here is um, 10H. Then what is the second instruction? Add AL comma add AL comma B. Add AL comma B. Uh, this will simply add the uh, uh, input variable A with AL register and store the result in AL. The thing here is simply add AL with the B and store the result in AL register. Uh, what is the value for AL? 10 A. What is the binary equivalent? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Similarly for B, what is the value? 20H. Binary equivalent is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. After adding, you will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Just group the 4, 4 bits. XRSML means grouping the 4 bits. The result is 0. The result is, if you convert this number again to the original one, the 30, then this one is 3, this one is 0. You will get the value after addition add AL comma B. The result is stored in the AL register. Value now here is 30. What is the third instruction? JNC jump if uh, no carry to the skip skip subroutine no carry just refer the add operation if and there is no carry is produced here the carry is zero there is no carry will be propagated after adding this two number there is no carry propagated carry it is zero at that time this instruction satisfies JNC jump with no carry. Uh, if there is no carry is produced, so uh, this uh, condition will help you to skip, uh, move to the skip subroutine. Use JNC skip means this will uh, this this instruction will help you to branch to some other instruction. This will not execute this instruction increment carry. Simply it will move to a skip instruction and it will do this uh, in uh, process this instruction. What is this instruction? Move sum comma c and comma al what is the value for al here 30 h uh, this will assign the value for al to the output variable sum now the value for sum here is 30 h carry here is what carry is 0 0 h because that is what carry is produced okay uh, I hope the concept is clear how to display things, how to get data, how to convert ASCII equivalent of the number to the original number, how to, after after conversion, how to uh, move the output results uh, register value A into the A input variable A, and then getting the second number, convert the ASCII equivalent for number to the original one, now how to assign the result to the variable B, now how to add these two numbers, how to produce uh, some output how to produce carry output this is the way how to get uh, how to program uh, 8 bit addition and the thing here is we are just getting the data from users from the screen uh, now we will see one more example um, with uh, if you use a equal to ff if you if you use a equal to ff b equal to ff you will get different results there is a presence of carry, carry equal to 1 and sum equal to FE. Let's check with the uh, uh, software, you will get this result only. Now we will move to, uh, now I have the program for this uh, um, concept. I will show how to add this one in EMU H2H simulator. You will get some idea. This is the code. I already typed there uh, in the simulator. This is the code. Uh, 
now run the program it will ask please enter the first number i i entered 10 second number 20 now i check the variable see here number a with value 10 b is 20 sum here is 30 carry here is 0 uh, it satisfies now i enter uh, another 8 bit number check the what is sum and what is carry sum here is uh, a is ff b is ff sum here is fp carry here is one uh, this is the procedure how to have two 8 bit numbers uh, the thing here is we are getting the input data of input from user side uh, from the screen uh, thank you for watching uh, you will see the remaining videos uh, the upcoming videos thank you everyone